Welcome back. Today we're diving into how diet impacts the effectiveness of sertraline, also known as Zoloft. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with grapefruit. This vibrant, tangy fruit is a breakfast favorite for many, but did you know it can have surprising interactions with certain medications? Grapefruit contains compounds called furanocumarins that can interfere with how your body breaks down sertraline, a common antidepressant. These compounds inhibit an enzyme called CYP3A4, which is crucial for metabolizing many drugs, including sertraline. When this enzyme is inhibited, it leads to a buildup of sertraline in your bloodstream. This can increase the risk of side effects like nausea, dizziness, and drowsiness making your experience with the medication less than ideal. It's best to avoid grapefruit juice altogether while on sertraline. Even a small amount can have a significant impact. This interaction isn't limited to just grapefruit. Other citrus fruits like Seville, oranges, and pomelos can also cause similar issues. So it's important to be mindful of what you're consuming. Knowledge is power. By understanding these interactions, you can make informed choices about your diet and medication. Always read the labels on your medications and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any questions. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation. There are plenty of other delicious fruits you can enjoy that don't interfere with your medication. Berries, apples, and bananas are all great options. You can still have a nutritious and tasty diet without the risk of adverse interactions. Stay tuned for more tips on how to manage your diet and medication effectively. By staying informed, you can ensure that you're getting the most benefit from your treatment while minimizing any potential risks. Remember, your health is in your hands and making small changes can have a big impact. Next, let's talk about alcohol consumption while taking sertraline. Sertraline is a medication commonly prescribed to treat depression, anxiety, and other mental health conditions. It works by balancing chemicals in the brain, which can help improve mood and reduce symptoms. However, when you introduce alcohol into the mix, things can get complicated. Both alcohol and sertraline affect your central nervous system which controls most functions of the body and mind. Combining them can heighten side effects like drowsiness, dizziness, and impaired coordination, making everyday activities more dangerous. Imagine trying to drive or operate machinery under these conditions. It's risky and potentially harmful. Alcohol can also interfere with sertraline's effectiveness. While sertraline aims to stabilize your mood, alcohol can have the opposite effect potentially worsening symptoms of depression and anxiety. This can create a vicious cycle where you might feel the need to drink more to cope, but in reality, it's making your condition worse. Moderation is key. It's crucial to discuss your alcohol intake with your doctor to determine what's safe for you. Your healthcare provider can offer personalized advice based on your medical history and current treatment plan. They might suggest limiting alcohol or avoiding it altogether, depending on your situation. Stay informed and make choices that support your well-being. Remember, your health is a priority, and making mindful decisions can significantly impact your treatment success. Let's move on to the next topic. Let's talk about caffeine. Both caffeine and sertraline influence neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. This combination can sometimes lead to increased anxiety, restlessness, and difficulty sleeping. If caffeine exacerbates your anxiety or interferes with your sleep, consider reducing your intake. Pay attention to your body's signals and adjust accordingly. Everyone's body chemistry is different, so find what works best for you. On to the next important topic. High-fat meals can impact sertraline's absorption. Fat slows down the digestive process, delaying sertraline's absorption into your bloodstream. This might lead to lower peak concentrations of the medication, affecting its effectiveness. Try to take sertraline on an empty stomach or with a light, low-fat meal. Consult your doctor for personalized guidance on the optimal timing of your dose. Let's continue with more dietary tips. 
Processed foods can significantly impact your well-being, especially when you're taking sertraline. These foods are often stripped of their essential nutritional value, leading to inflammation and blood sugar spikes. This can create a cascade of negative effects on your body and mind. A diet high in processed foods can create an imbalance, making it harder for sertraline to work effectively. Processed foods are linked to an increased risk of depression and anxiety, which can counteract the benefits of your medication. Imagine consuming foods that are high in sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial additives. These ingredients can disrupt your body's natural balance, leading to mood swings and energy crashes. Over time, this can make it more challenging for your body to respond positively to sertraline. Opt for whole, unprocessed foods to support your mental health. Fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can provide the nutrients your body needs to function optimally. These foods can help stabilize your blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and support overall brain health. Let's explore more healthy options. Consider incorporating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon and walnuts, which are known to support brain function. Leafy greens, berries, and nuts are also excellent choices for maintaining a balanced diet. By making mindful food choices, you can enhance the effectiveness of your sertraline treatment and promote better mental health. Whole grains are a cornerstone of a healthy diet, especially when taking sertraline. They provide essential nutrients like fiber, B vitamins, and antioxidants. Whole grains help regulate blood sugar levels, supporting a balanced mood. They also provide B vitamins crucial for brain health and mood regulation. Incorporate whole grains into your diet for sustained energy and mental well-being. Let's move on to the next nutrient. Lean proteins are essential while taking sertraline. They provide amino acids necessary for producing neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. Lean proteins help stabilize blood sugar levels, preventing energy crashes and mood swings. Include sources like poultry, fish, beans, lentils, tofu, and eggs in your diet. Proteins support countless bodily functions, including a healthy immune system. Let's explore more dietary tips. Fresh fruits and vegetables are nutritional powerhouses. They're rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that support mental well-being. Antioxidants protect cells from damage, reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. Incorporate a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables into your diet for overall brain health. Let's dive into the next important nutrient. Omega-3 fatty acids are crucial for brain health, especially when taking sertraline. They support cell membrane structure, neurotransmitter function, and reduce inflammation. Low levels of omega-3s are linked to an increased risk of depression and anxiety. Consuming enough omega-3s can improve mood and cognitive function. Include sources like fish, flax seeds, and walnuts in your diet. Let's explore more ways to support your mental health. Probiotics are essential for gut health, which influences mental well-being. The gut-brain axis plays a significant role in mood and cognitive function. A balanced gut microbiome supports positive mood and overall well-being. Include probiotic-rich foods like yogurt, kefir, and fermented vegetables in your diet. Let's wrap up with some final thoughts. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more health tips. Your diet plays a crucial role in your overall health and medication effectiveness. Consult your healthcare provider before making any changes to your diet or medication regimen.